Kate Middleton is remembering Queen Elizabeth II at the holidays, the Princess of Wales says in a new recording, which appears at the beginning of the televised broadcast of her carol service, that Christmas was a special time for the late Queen and her family. Her Majesty held Christmas close to her heart, as a time that brought people together and reminded us of the importance of faith, friendship and family, and to show empathy and compassion, Kate, 40, says. She made the comments during preparations a day before December 15's service at Westminster Abbey. It was the second year that the Princess of Wales hosted the celebration to thank people for their duty and service over the previous 12 months. It will air during the Together at Christmas broadcast, that's narrated by Catherine Zeta-Jones, on ITV1 On Deck. Twenty-four, Kate, dressed in a sparkly outfit and standing in front of Christmas tree, says, Last year's event reminded me what I love most about Christmas, seeing people coming together, celebrating and experiencing special moments, whilst also thinking about the year that's passed. Princess Kate explains that they invited hundreds of inspiring individuals to Westminster Abbey. They are those who showcase the power of connectedness and community values, allowing us to continue Her Majesty's tradition of recognizing and thanking those who have gone above and beyond to support others, Kate says. Her Majesty leaves with us an incredible legacy and one that has deeply inspired many of us. The service also highlights those who are no longer with us. She goes on, whilst Christmas will feel very different this year, we can still remember the memories and traditions we shared. Take time to slow down and celebrate with family and friends all the wonderful things that make Christmas so special. Kate's carol service included a number of tributes to the history-making monarch, from Paddington Bear ornaments in the Christmas trees to Prince William doing a reading that quoted his grandmother's 2012 Christmas speech. The Princess of Wales also planted a wild cherry tree in Dean's Yard at Westminster Abbey in the Queen's memory ahead of the concert. One of the groups that Princess Kate invited included the choir from St. Mary's Ukrainian School in London, who sang at the concert. In tandem with her broadcast, her office at Kensington Palace released the pitch letter that the princess wrote to ask them to take part. She had seen them earlier in the year on one of her official engagements. In a video shown in the program, head teacher Ina Rihorovich is seen receiving a letter from the Princess of Wales thanking her for the care she provides to the families and children attending the school, which provides as lifeline for the whole community. That is only possible because of your tireless work and dedication to supporting those around you, Kate wrote. She adds, music has always been important to me, especially at this time of year, and its power to connect us with one another should NT be underestimated. The children's choir at St. Mary's is a wonderful example of how it is possible to find pockets of happiness, meaning and comfort during difficult times.
Inviting them to the service, Kate says, if it's not too much to ask, I would also love for the saint. Mary's Ukrainian choir to sing a carol for us. Dot dot exclamation mark. They performed away in a manger. The concert, which also featured singer Craig David, Alexis French and a special duet by Alfie Bow and Melanie C., will air at 7 p. M. Local time on Christmas Eve on ITV1 in the UK.